I got it. Nope, I'm going right now. Okay, so we brought everyone to the old chapel and we gave them instructions. We said, we're going to play Fortnite today. We're going to play a squad version. We're going to pair you up into teams and you're going to play uh, Fortnite with the rules we're going to give you. We'll play 10 to 15 minute rounds and they're going to be signaled by the, si by the siren. When you hear the siren sound, we'll begin the next round. For the first round, you have to get to your crate. Excuse me, you have to get to your crate that has your map in it and it also has your weapons. The first weapons are toothpicks. If you'll look, in the first round, we're ready over here with uh, balloons on and bandanas. So that's how we're gonna tell the teams apart. So balloons and bandanas right here. So they're getting ready to play and we'll give an example in just a second, but they have the balloons. The balloons must be bigger than somebody's head. So the biggest person you have at camp, their head. Probably John King is my guess. All right, so anyway. Um, the next part is you have to go to your own crate to get your own weapon. Your own weapon is going to be the toothpicks in the first round and we'll give you a map. And so each group will get a map. They're going to go to that map uh, to their crate and they'll get their weapons there for the first round. Um, you have to have your balloon on at all times uh, and at any time during the game it can be popped. It can only be popped with the toothpick. You can't grab it and pop it or anything like that. See, um, the next weapon we're going to use um, is going, well, I'll show you that in a second. Every person is going to have a coin. We painted the coins. This is the coin for today. Oh, I can't really see it. There you go. These are the coins for today. We colored them the color of the team. So like the red team would have a red coin. The yellow team would have a yellow coin. And that's how that would work. If, if you get killed by the red team kills the, the yellow team, then they would have to give them their coin. And that means at that point, they would have to go back to the old chapel and get a new coin that's the right color. And if their balloon was off, they would get a new balloon. So that's how that part works. In the instructions, the next person, oh, and you cannot interfere with anyone else's weapons. So like the red team cannot pick up the yellow team's crate and the yellow team cannot pick up the red team's crate. And that's how that part works. Uh, the points we did were lives. So like every time the yellow team kills the red team, they would collect coins. So Macy over here, is a killer at the balloon game. So she would probably have like 15 coins from killing them like 15 times. So that's how that works. So she would be collecting those and we would get points for the each one throughout the game. The next part is ducks. So we hid ducks all over camp, right? I don't know where those ducks are. Where are those ducks? Anyway, we ordered ducks um, and we hid those throughout camp. And so the more ducks they had, the more points they would get for ducks. So we counted that. And then we played last man standing. We'll show you that in a little bit. And that was the overall winner. So the missions were to get your weapons and gather prizes uh, throughout the way. Um, we gave them two bottles of potions, which served as shields. And we're going to send you that. Uh, every other round had written instructions on a card for the next round. Okay. So we gathered the troops of the old chapel. We gave these instructions. The instructions were go to your first crate and get toothpicks and next map. There. All right, so we're going to reenact the game for you. You ready, Jennifer? Here we go. First thing that's going to happen is we're going to tell them, we're going to give them their map. They're going to look at their map. Our toothpicks are at the rec center. All right, so when the siren sounds, we're all going to go, woo! They're running, they're getting their weapon. They're running and they're getting their weapons. The first one is toothpicks. And then what they have to do is find their next map. Their next map is going to tell them where their next thing, where their next weapons are. But right now, they've got to defend themselves and get to that next weapon. We kill each other, not each other. We kill them. Okay. So Zach, his balloon has been popped, so he's got to go back to the old chapel. Hey, I need to give you this. Oh, he hands him his coin. Sorry, I missed that part. He hands him his coin, and he goes back to the old chapel. Looks like you okay. At the old you chapel, coin. And there is a balloon. he gets a new coin and a new balloon. One of the things we did here is we let the weapons stack all the way through. So, like, the first time you could use balloons, and then as the second round started, you could either use the water balloons or pop their balloon. Either way worked. And then the third round, you could use the water gun, the water balloons, or pop their balloons. So we kind of let allow the weapons to stack, which is kind of like the game, because you can stack the weapons in the game as well. And go. Sweet, we found our shields and ducks. Those are the ducks. <laughs> Kill 
Oh no! Oh, oh, he's hit by a water balloon. But wait, I have a shield. So I don't have to die, and you have to give me 10 seconds to get away. One, two, three. So they can run away, and they get to save their lives because they found the shield. All right, so this group is coming to get their next weapon. Aha, we got our water guns in our next map. Oh, wow. Let's go. Hand water guns. So what they did is they, they had to look for their next target, but in the way, on the way they also had to defend themselves because other teams might have their water guns as well. Ah, you got me. Ah, so, so Zach has been hit, so he, goes, he has to give Kate his coin again like for the 50th time today, uh, he's giving Kate his coin. And, and then Zach has to go back to the old chapel and get another coin, and, and Cade has increased the points of their team. Okay, for our last round, what we did is we used the volleyball court because it's a sand volleyball court, and we put up different barriers. We used tables for that, and we used these flower bombs. This is pantyhose with flour inside it, and uh, we'll explain how you make these maybe in the, in the end. But uh, what we did is, since the teams were kind of big, like 25 on each team, we released five people at a time. Every time we sounded the siren, five more people from each team could add in. And once you're eliminated in this round, it was like last man standing. The, uh, the shields didn't work, and none of the other things worked um, as far as that goes. And you were just eliminated, so it was a last team standing. So once the 25 people were all gone, your team was out. Go, go, go. And they came out, and they got their flower bomb. Really here you go, here you go, there you go. There's your <laughs> Um, we threw the flower bombs out, and if they hit the other person, they're out. So, like when they, when he got hit, he was already out, so he couldn't hit Zach. He just wanted to hit him because he thought it was funny. And you're out, buddy. And then we said, okay, next group. And so Macy could run in, and now it's actually Zach, Zach, and Addy against Macy because Zach was still in. So as soon as they get hit with a, with a flower bomb. You can't run around the room. You gotta stand. If you go outside the volleyball court, you're out, but he's gonna hit her with it anyway. Okay, and so Macy was out, and so the red team won last man standing. But in our game today, what happened is Cade and Macy had far more kills, so we'd count all the coins that they had. So, like, if they had 80 kills, they would win first place in lives, and then whoever found the most ducks throughout camp and in the bags would have won that round. And then the winner of the last man standing would have been Addie and Zach. And so they, they gave, we gave them a prize as well. Our first place, place prize was a llama. Our second place prize, Giant not prize. second place, a our table. lives was, uh, what do we do for lives? A stick, Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers for first place in lives. <laughs> and then uh, we gave a giant inflatable duck to the team that got found the most ducks. And then for Bush Camper, we gave a piece of one of the trees at Pine Springs. Thank you for the donation. All right, uh, that's how you play this game. And we hope you understand this. Thanks, bye.